sea toads Jonathidae. Hello and welcome back to Tea in the Deep Blue Sea Species Spotlight Series with me Victoria. Today I'm going to be talking about the sea toad, a species of deep sea anglerfish. I hope you enjoy the video and let's dive right in. Cheers. The sea toads and coffin fishes are a family of deep sea anglerfishes known as the Chornacidae. There are two genera in the Chornacidae family, Chornax and Chornacops. Of the two genera in this family, Chornacops typically occurs at deeper depths than the Chornax, but with considerable overlap. They are characterised by having a small lure on a short stalk, placing a depression on the head between their eyes. The lure is rounded with numerous small filaments that make it look like a tiny mop. The first dorsal fin ray is modified into a short bioluminescent lure which dangles forward over the mouth which is turned upward so as to be nearly vertical. They are usually less than 30 centimetres long. Their range is worldwide from 4,300 to 11,000 feet, 1,300 to 3,300 meters. They are mostly sedentary ambush predators, meaning they spend periods motionless, waiting until prey is close enough for them to strike. In the deep ocean where they live, food tends to be scarce, they tend to eat whatever swims by. An interesting fact about sea toads is that they can inflate their gill chambers and increase their body volume by around 30%. Their gill chambers are huge, allowing them to take in oxygen and hold their breath for up to four minutes, which can be a way of conserving energy in a food-scarce environment. So puffer fish can lock seawater inside their guts in order to keep their shape if squeezed or bitten, while the gill chambers of coffin fish are essentially open, meaning the water would just leak out if they were bitten. Sea toads often sit up on their pectoral and pelvic fins and use these for walking across the seabed. They use their caudal or tail fin to swim. Of the sea toad species that have been evaluated for the IUCN Red List, their rating ranges from least concern to data deficient. So that was my video all about the sea toad. I hope you enjoyed it and learned something new. If you did, why not give this video a thumbs up and comment down below. Are there any weird and wonderful creatures you would like me to cover? Have your say down below. And if you aren't already, please consider subscribing for more. That's all from me for now and I will see you in the next one. Bye bye for now. Cheers.